I can't believe I'm saying this, but after 2000 hours since March 20 of 2020, I have finally finished an island. I don't know how people do it, just finishing islands left and right could not be me. But after streaming this island for the past maybe five months now and just having a lot of input from you guys, putting a lot of love into it, she's here. And her name is Bizu. She is a meadow themed island and I took a lot of inspiration from Pinterest just looking at photos of meadows, farmland, gardens. I have kind of put all of that together and try to make the most realistic take that I could on it. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this dream address to be updated. So if you would like to walk around with me, feel free to. Um, but yeah, let's just get right into it. <laughs> I wanted to begin at the airport. As you can see, I have my lovely little flag of Bizu that somebody made for me. Honestly, it just brings me so much joy every time I see it because I really do feel like it perfectly exemplifies my island. I have a yellow airport, nothing too exciting, but I almost forgot to show y'all my map, but this is the map of Bizu. I have Norma, Callie, Willow, Deirdre, Fang, Bones, Benjamin, Callie, um, Ozzy, and Goose, of course. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually really content with the way my map ended up turning out because since I don't really have a lot of terraforming, as you can see, I was freaking out that there weren't gonna be any cliffs and that everything wasn't gonna look good. But I think just like adding the little waterways and the paths and everything kind of just tied it all in together. As we enter the island, the first thing you'll see is a little fence that kind of just welcomes you in. It's kind of like you're finding a little magical hidden secret in here. And I um, I have a, a bunch of different pathways. I have a um, little bridge here with a tiny stream kind of ever so peacefully running through. And the first area that I wanted to show y'all is the sand dune area. I definitely had a lot of fun decorating around the long weeds because we are so limited with them. But for this area, I just wanted to kind of make a very natural looking sand dune. So I have the, um, what, what is it called? The termite mounds to kind of like exemplify some sort of earth formation even though that's definitely not what it is but we also have some long weeds around it and we have little plays just to kind of clean your feet off after you've been on the beach as you walk here inside the beach past another fence we have a very natural simple little picnic area i used a lot of cosmo sprouts throughout the island just to give a little bit of movement on the ground and i think it's just the loveliest little detail i love this picnic so much just very peaceful that's what i wanted to go with throughout the entire island as you can see here i have my able sisters which you kind of have to walk into i really wanted to give this again more of like a little hidden garden sort of feeling so i have that overgrown door over there that kind of just slightly aligns with the Abel sisters door cradled with some trees around it as well and I have some garden boxes here to the right a little pie that's been maybe just baked for the visitors we have a loom here and a little seating area as well I wanted to add more but honestly I just didn't really have a lot of space to work with so I didn't want to cramp it too much. I almost forgot to talk about this tiny little well that I have here. I've got a bucket next to it and it's just all surrounded by a bunch of trees. You'll be noticing a lot of trees kind of separate different areas since I do have a lot of flat land overall. I felt like the trees were a perfect natural way of separating each space. To the right of the Able sisters and uh, Callie's just here enjoying the morning. I actually play a lot in the mornings and I find that Callie's like one of my my decorating buddies because she's just always around. It leads straight into the resident services. It's like a really easy way to get through. Um, probably not in this case, but <laughs> past the fence over here, I have another bicycle. Again, more picnics. Another one of my favorite little decorating pieces to use are the little ant cups. You can also get those with the fleas and the, I think the mosquitoes too? Could be wrong about that. Kind of like you just picked an ant off the picnic or something. I have the opening to our first meadow slash garden. This one's actually more of like a, a garden feeling. The trail has been worn down, so I have these little tracks here and this path with the garden wagon right in the middle of it. But this is 
just straight out in front of my resident services. I feel like the resident service building is definitely one of the more, more difficult buildings to decorate, but this just kind of ties it perfectly with the rest of the theme in the island. I love seeing the butterflies that all inevitably end up flying here because I have all these different flowers and um, yeah, it's just really quaint and beautiful. And I think that in the morning light, it also especially looks really pretty. To the right, I have these little gifts that I've dropped off for y'all as soon as you get off out of the bed you can just pick one up to accessorize maybe take photos if you'd like got a little wood chopping area and we also have the community garden i just felt like this was a a really cute little way to transition into the nyx cranny back there and i really just wanted to have a community garden on the island especially since it's so heavily inspired by flowers and gardens in general i might pass the garden again another bicycle fortune cookie cart here just to give it a, an element of a lived-in path and we have my next cranny which again is very simple i just have a little bit of a trash area there on the top left and then i've added a bunch of pumpkins because i really just wanted to feel festive for halloween especially since the spooky day stuff is coming up very soon past the fence again we have more picnics Honestly, I just really love the idea of adding a bunch of picnics on a beach, some sprouts here and there, some rocks, just to kind of give it more of like an actual realistic beach feeling. This just goes to show you that if you add a couple of tiny little accessories here and there, it's gonna end up fine. You don't have to make it super dramatic or anything. And then past that, I have my first villager's house, which is Fang. This is my crinky villager, and I just wanted to give it like a retired grandpa sort of vibe, so I have um, a little area for him to lounge in over here, and then he's got his trash, of course, gotta get his recycling done and some golf clubs because of course grandpas love golfing apparently and then past that i have kind of like a layered fencing sort of effect which i really love and i've done throughout the entire island but in between that i wanted to give him a bit of a garden because grandpas love gardening too i think and actually i've seen a lot of grandpas do that around here so <laughs> past that i have a little laundry area for him some small grandpa socks and it just has a very peaceful layered look to it that's kind of what i really wanted to go for just give it like a realistic sort of open space so over here we have more picnics one of my favorite little tiny details that i love doing is having trees with dropped fruit next to it with a little ladder just to make it look like somebody's climbed up there to get it down and um again i've just kind of done that here in the coconut tree and you'll see that again in, in other parts i have a lifeguard chair these wave breakers, some more rocks, the uh, the signpost back there, little oil lamp to give it some light. Right back to resident services, and we have another path over here that leads into a neighbor's yard, but we'll get into that later. Got an intersection here, and I'm gonna actually make my way to the left first into our campsite. If you can just see that, there's like a little trail that kind of goes around the trees, so I wanted it to look like a little beaten path. In between as like a secret way to get to the other side of the island here we have the entrance to the campsite this is my one and only cliff on the entire island so take it all in because this is pretty much all the terraforming you're gonna get I have a little trail of ants here to the left and this giant rock head which kind of gives it that element of a rocky mountain just walk up here and make our way into the campsite unfortunately i don't have a campsite visitor here so it's not really filling it in as much as i'd like it to but it's still okay we have two waterfalls here on the sides of this little bridge some jacob's ladders flowers i've never actually hit five stars <laughs> on this island so that is kind of a big lie little campsite no big deal book placed here on the side some bushes and i've added a bunch of these little sprouts by the way these are cosmo sprouts and i am currently trying to save my dream address on these sprouts so that they don't grow up to being flowers I feel like the grass in animal crossing is pretty flat so <laughs> anyway i'm gonna walk right back and here is this lovely little market where i just kind of have 
some household items being sold by the villagers, some plants because of course everybody's a gardener here, and to the left we have some records because they have beautiful artwork on them. It was really hard for me to finally find something that I would be happy with behind my resident services and I felt like it just made sense to have a community flea market behind here. Past my market I have our very first wide open meadow and if I can just say this was probably one of the hardest areas to fill in I don't know why it just was it was really big I had no idea which direction to go in and I think the wind turbines really just kind of tied it in all together because it makes it feel more alive and I just kind of love the idea of having the wind sort of sweeping through the meadow here um, I have this trail this very definitive trail that leads into another wishing well some buckets to get some water for the villagers, another bike right on top of that little trail so it looks like it's kind of riding around. I have Freckles house right next to this little duck pond, got some ducks resting here, and a little wild log bench that kind of looks like it's been chopped down right in front of there. And over here we have Benjamin's house and I, I honestly love the way this turned out. He's the orchard keeper of the island here. Um, he's got a little tree, some tools inside of the stall, kind of cradled in between the cliffs over there, and fruit punch <laughs> or fruit water. I actually don't know what that is. A little picnic with a cornucopia, some silos to kind of give it a farmy feel, and again, a lot of layering with the fencing. I am actually really proud of the way this orchard turned out because I love the little corners of the bricks that um, just give it a little something, you know? Added some boxes, some fruit baskets everywhere, fallen fruits, a little dog walking through because Benjamin had a baby. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Past this bridge we have Willow's house and she has just the slightest little laundry area with some stumps here kind of makes it look like a little garden detail i felt like if i added a lot of furniture in these areas it would have ended up making it look very enclosed and then right next to willow's house we have our hobbit hole which i did a speed build for and it was really close to being taken down <laughs> i'm glad i didn't because i actually really do like it and i think it works perfectly with the island kind of have some little gnomes there acting as hobbits and tiny bit of pumpkins kind of planted around since they're known to be farmers. That is just a little transitional area again back into the beach and I think it looks perfect right next to Willow's house. So I'm really happy that I ended up keeping it. But back here I just have this giant bonfire and a picnic again. Nothing mind-blowing here but I did make sure to add a bunch of coconut trees because I wanted to give it more of like an enclosed little oasis sort of feel and um, as you walk down here it leads you again back to Willow's house so it's very easy to walk around and that's honestly what I loved about this island and making this island is that it's just very easy to get around in and I don't know I think it was just a reaction to all those heavily cliffed cottagecore islands which are very beautiful but sometimes <laughs> it can be a bit much oh my god Callie <laughs> Callie is taking a little nap here. Oh my god, Callie. Thank you. Thank you for gracing this island tour with your beauty. She is just so precious. I could stay here forever, but we're not going to because I have to finish this island tour. <laughs> anyway. Oh my gosh, Daisy May. <laughs> I am so blessed today. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. We're walking straight into my favorite part, my absolute favorite part of my entire island which is this meadow and this is one of the first areas that I actually finished because I knew that this meadow was going to exist before it even existed but as you enter the first thing you see is this pear orchard because the island fruit is pe are pears so that's kind of like what I thought was going to be my one and only orchard on the island but um, I just feel like it's a really great like it kind of acts as a barrier between the entrance and the first like actual island meadow So we have this little path again a dirt path sort of diagonally going into This beautiful view of my lake house, which I did do a speed build for and I absolutely love it honestly probably my favorite build that I've ever made 
because it just looks so magical and amazing. And over here, I have a picnic that uh, somebody so kindly made this beautiful painting of my house for. My house door actually used to be green, but because they, this person made it that way, I decided to change my house door to blue to match the painting. Got a little snack, some donuts, and yeah, it's honestly stunning. This is really pretty. I'm very, very happy with it. And I, after doing this island tour, it's almost gonna be really hard for me to let go of this island. As I mentioned before, I played around a lot with the long weeds on this island. And for this one, I wanted to give Norma's yard this overgrown grassy feeling. So we have this nicely cut lawn and we have a honeybee farm right here to the left some yellow flowers just a nice little fun touch there and then to norma's yard we have more gardens some silos this one definitely feels like a farm i guess she sells her own milk <laughs> so that's that's great out of all the yards that i've made i think this one is the best constructed because it just has a lot of like layers of different elements to it that all tie in so beautifully there's even a little ladder kind of hidden in the cliff back there i did use the confetti machine specifically so that it looks like flower petals sort of flowing through the air i wish that i added more of those around the island but i ended up forgetting about it to be honest <laughs> it is really pretty though and then over here it leads us straight into callie's yard which is very much inspired by norma's yard this one has a greenhouse or like some sort of tool shed here on the side with some plants, a little garden cart, some hay beds, a little hidden cliff here with a waterfall. Very peaceful. And then over here to the left, it leads us straight into Ozzy's yard. I wanted to just give him a yard sale type of thing. So I've added household items back there some chopped wood because he also likes chopping wood apparently and a lawn chair with some change as his little bag of money from anybody buying his goods to the left of that i've kind of layered these two buildings together because i thought they looked so good but of course i have my museum this one i kind of wish that i did a little bit more with it but i'm really happy with the way it turned out it just has an overgrown garden kind of like the building's been reclaimed by the earth in some ways and i really like that i love the way it turned out i added a park clock and a little bench here just to kind of make it look like it's still being used somehow <laughs> past that i added another bridge that leads straight into the beach again this is a little beach volleyball area and very simple not a lot of stuff going on a bench for spectators and then here to the left we have a strawberry garden <laughs> i wanted to get a strawberry sign but i definitely ran out of code space believe it or not so yeah got some strawberries to pick here a little bucket for picking the strawberries and a scale for measuring them as they're being picked <laughs> i guess fang's having a little beach day here very simple picnic here. Probably should have added a bit more, but honestly, my dog is actually pretty small, so I didn't have that much to work with. Past here, I have a bonfire, and this leads me into a yoga area that I wanted to make. This is actually the only area that I feel like I kind of popped off in for the beach because it's different than my usual picnics. But yeah, it's just a very chill yoga spot. I wish I could do yoga there, honestly. I would stay there all day long, become a professional yogi, quit my job. Why not? I'm unemployed. What am I talking about? Just made these little wide open spaces, popped on a, a couple of flowers ever so delicately. Everything is just like kind of slightly touched here and there because I, I did really want to emphasize on the natural feeling of the island. And then just past that, we have our giant pumpkin farm. I went all out on this. I've added so many pumpkins, so many pumpkin items to make it feel like an actual pumpkin patch. We got a picnic here on the left hand side that I'm really proud of. It's got pumpkins spilling everywhere, a cornucopia, some mooncakes, baked goods. To the top right here, we have a farm to table area, complete with a table, a brick oven, and a little area to just season all of our delicious foods straight from the farm to our table. 
I'm very proud of this spot because honestly I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before and that was just heavily inspired by my Stardew Valley farm. I had so much fun with this area. Past here I have a tiny little neighborhood area. Actually I have three houses here so it's not that tiny but we have our boy Bones who is the farm keeper, the farmer guy. I guess we do have a farm dog. And then we have Goose as our chicken of the farm. And I <laughs> have a little funny story about Goose. He is farming his wives, his wives' eggs. That's all I got to say about that. Added some buckets to collect the eggs in, some hay beds to kind of like give a little bit of distance so that people, you know, don't want to get too close to the chickens, I guess. Gotta respect the chicken space. Just behind his house though, we have our secret beach spot, which is literally just a little lounging area, a camp thing with a little <laughs> leaf campfire. It's very simple, honestly. I didn't do too much to that. And then past here, we have Wave Breaker, and we have the spot where you can just jump right out of it into the water. It's really cool and very nautical feeling. Again, using the overgrown weeds to create a sand dune around here. Continuing on to the right, we have a bike on the path to our last and final house, which is Deirdre's house. And this is just like a little back beach, kind of like extending from the secret beach area because I've always felt like the secret beach is so tiny. So I decided to instead make a little pool, a natural pool of sorts. We've got some tiles around it, little lounging areas, some coconut trees to give some shading. Right past that, there is this little boardwalk of sorts that kind of just looks out into the waterfall. So we're back at the center of the meadow and I wanted to show y'all the last and final place of my island, my house. I am just gonna quickly sneak in here real fast and just make my way down into my lake house. That's literally the only way you can really get in here. Just knock in. Ta-da, my house. <laughs> We have this bakery slash cafe. I know I could have easily just made this like a homey sort of vibe, but for some reason that just wasn't enough for me. I really just wanted to make it a cafe for some reason, and so that's what I've done. I've added a little seating area right here next to the bar. You can just come in, order some cakes, some desserts, some coffee. Got little dishwashing area. Very happy with the way it turned out. We even have a little seat here with a hat right on top of it to kind of look like the hat's resting on the chair. To the left, we have a vintage shop. I just sort of layered a bunch of my favorite clothing pieces everywhere. My favorite accessories, some records on the wall. I really just kind of wish I owned an actual record store. So I'm living vicariously through Animal Crossing. Now to the right, we have my dream clay studio because I also wish that I could have a clay studio like this. I've been taking up ceramics recently and honestly just looking at this makes me wish that I really had this because I could totally use the space. We have our kiln <laughs> that definitely doesn't even look like a kiln and we have some table space to uh, paint our clay or glaze it I guess and then to create our clay pieces some coffee because you know we gotta survive somehow after the long hours of making pottery and lastly we have my bedroom which I am just now realizing I forgot to put a very essential piece into so I will probably just edit the room into the video but this is my room I really kind of wanted to make this my living space for the entire house because everything else is like a business sort of area so for this I have my little bedroom here on the left along with a bathroom just right next to it and to the right we have my personal kitchen a little laundry area and a lounging area here by the camp the, the, the campfire <laughs> 
by the fire. But that's it guys, that was my entire Meadowcore Island of Bizu. I am so happy to finally share her with y'all. It seriously took so much love and energy to do it, but I'm really happy and I honestly, I'm super proud because I am definitely a perfectionist when it comes to decorating, when it comes to every single aspect of my life. So I don't know, finishing this island feels like the end of a chapter somehow but i am currently actually streaming a brand new island that is more autumn small town feeling very gilmore girls vibe if you will so if you want to join us on that again hit the subscribe button and i would love for you guys to uh be a part of that because it's been really fun and oh daisy may again <laughs> she's so cute with her little booger hanging out of her nose anyway thank you so much for watching and until next time bye